Hello everybody, uh, welcome to a new uh, weekly update video from me, Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer, hoping to make Inkscape better for re regular users. Uh, first this week, I'd like to go over some um, housekeeping. So my work hours schedule for most of this past year has been sort of trying to invest as much time as I could into the Inkscape uh, sort of improvement so that I could show uh, everybody how possible it is to improve Inkscape, uh, listen to users and hopefully build a respectable base of support. And now it's time to scale back some of the some of the investment and uh, make the amount of time that I spend on Inkscape proportional to the amount of support that I'm getting from both uh, company support and also from individual users. Uh, so what I'm going to do is going for forwards when I uh, tell when I say how much uh, how much support I'm getting, I'm going to indicate that by how much how many hours per week I can reasonably spend on Inkscape um, based upon the support, which means that if you'd like the work that I do to happen faster, uh, I'm I need more people to get involved. Uh, even if it's just a small amount, uh, it'll build up o over time. Uh, my hope is that there's enough history now with, um, you know, I think it's about a year, a year's worth of vid videos um, that I can show that we, we can do this. We can we can make them like work on Inkscape um, together and uh, bring about the kinds of cha changes that everybody has been demanding for a long time. Uh, but we need the the the, the resources to, to do it, and more specifically, I I need the the, the resources to be able to do it. Um, and with your help, I I think I can do that. So uh, first of all, thank you for all the existing supporters. Um, they allow me to work on Inkscape for three three and a half hours per week this month, and uh, I will be contacting more companies uh, who I know use Inkscape to ask them directly to support me as well. So uh, hopefully we can get a good mix of regular users and corporations and companies and small businesses to get involved and, and hopefully make this a, a viable proposition. So uh, following on from last week, I did the orthogonal lines drawing. Uh, this concludes the contract that I had with, the, with Chris's company for uh, drawing, basically uh, re redoing the whole con connectors tool. Uh, the connectors tool needs more polishing before it can be merged in, into Inkscape. Uh, but I'm happy with it. It, it's, it does play very nicely and um, the contractee is very excited by the fun functionality, which is great to hear. Uh, lots, lots of love for, from, from them. Um, so what am I planning on doing next? What I've been working on is the multi-page support and multi-page support in Inkscape has always been a bit of a problematic proposition. Um, the first thing is because SVG doesn't support pages internally and none of the people who are involved in writing the SVG spec are interested in supporting pages in SVG. And that means that we need to invent or think about some way of supporting them that doesn't break SVG, but does allow Inkscape to have some workflows and, and functionalities that allow for editing for things like PDF files. Uh, now, what we currently call a page is what's known as a big fat lie. Uh, that is not a page. It's not defined as a page in the SVG document. Uh, it's just a width and a height and a view box. And in no in no place does it call it a page. The only thing that calls that uh, box that you put stuff in that's then visible in a browser and in uh, image viewers, the only thing that calls that a page is Inkscape. So part of the the work to to make multi page support is to stop lying about what that that is. And so uh, part of that is to explain it to users as a sort of either a preview box or the uh, the main view box or some other kind of like demonstration that this is about uh, what the image would look like if you opened it in a browser. Um, 
there are two different ways of approaching multiple paid pages. One is the artboard method and the other is the uh, static location method. I went through a lot of documentation from designers and other people who had suggested different approaches and, and ways of designing the functionality. I've decided that the artboard functionality is a different and distinct piece of functionality from multiple paid pages. Uh, I know that's probably going to make a lot of designers sit up and go, wait, what? Uh, multiple pages is different from artboards. It's not the same functionality. And the functionality that I'd like to build is multiple page support, which means that it's going to focus explicitly on creating static uh, page definitions that are basic shapes that were, were things that appear on that page are uh, exportable into PDFs, are uh, importable in the same way, and exportable into PNGs, multiple PNGs, for example. Um, it will unrelate to where the, where the media box is, where the preview box is, and it will be a basic implementation that allows you to import PDFs, edit them, and export PDFs, right? You'll be able to make new pages and delete paid pages, but the way it interacts with con content is the pages do not own content. You can group things across different page pages. You can edit them much like you would on, on an entire can canvas and they don't have to um, get in the way of any of the other fun functionality. If think of them more as like markers for where content would go. And then what we will do is over time, we'll build on the page support to add in things like headers and footers and other kinds of interesting publishing fun fun functionality, if that's what users want. Uh, and then we can implement artboards as a different piece of functionality. Um, hopefully if we get enough re resources to be able to uh, focus on artboards, I, I could do it. Uh, but I'm also excited to see if, if anybody could Im implement that fun functionality. We actually have a lot of detailed um, de design work that's happened for artboards, and I have some ideas for that too about like how, how we would do it. Um, but to keep this fo focused, I'm going to be spending this month's three and a half hours a week on multi-page support. So we're going to be taking this slow. So don't expect any like huge leaps, but uh, hopefully we will uh, slowly be able to implement something that is usable and people will see in the next ver version of Inkscape. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Um, please do like, subscribe, share these videos, and um, I hope to see you all next week.